Oh. Matilda. Matilda loves the cardboard box. Yeah. Doesn't she? She really enjoys that. Everyone's asking, how is your arm doing? Out of the sling. It is out, out of the sling. Out of the sling now. And can you move it? I've got, to, I've got to keep going like that. And then like that. And the wave it about a bit round and round. Oh, like that. And then rest and let the sun shine on it. Look at her. She loves it. Is it funny the way she likes it? I wonder what she likes about it. I don't know. Hello, boys. Hello. Oh, we're on camera. Really yes. Well, George, how are yes. you? I'm fine. Um, I still think they'll yeah. finish in the top four. Same. But you went shopping, obviously. Well, no, this isn't new. This is out of an old cupboard that I put away. Um, and then I did go shopping, though. And I bought lots of new shirts. Well, lots. I bought, like, four new shirts. You're moving the clothes, the camera No, because your skin looks so good. Thank you. But my hair looks ridiculous. Um, After I uh, mentioned that, um, that you... I can't... Because we have to socially distance. Um... Oh, I'm just so happy to see you. <laughs> your skin looks amazing. Thank what are you, you doing with your skin? But, um, um, just well, keeping it very simple. Well, well, so well, using um, like La Roche, oh, you know La Roche Pose and yeah. stuff like that. Very simple. Nadine Baggett swears I, by yeah. La Roche. Well, so, well, I mean, I know we're producing a show now, but before, but in other news. He's meant to be producing a show. Where I was using like sort of expensive things that I just thought would would I don't know be really good for my skin that actually making it work, and then it just shows that the simple cheap stuff that's like eight quid is yeah it's like a miracle. And what Nadine Baggett says is anything French is brilliant. Well, is anything it, um, French. Um, is it a vene? A vene? Do you know that? Yes, a van. Is that a van? A V E N E. Yes, a van. Well, yeah, so I use that too, and that's really, really, it's spring water. It's like derived from spring water, and it's really simple, and that's just as good. What I love, I love people who, whatever they're doing, I mean, he is in the middle of producing a show. The moment you ask about cosmetics and skin and everything, just so, yes, yes. Have you not seen my neck and deck red light? Your deck looks amazing. He's, I better leave him to get on with his job. So. I haven't actually had a chance to say, oh, this is the lovely guy that cleans the studio. Give us a wave, this is my vlog. He's so nice, he sanitizes it for us. I'll see you later. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to say that throughout all of this, throughout the past, what is it, three months, the show has gone on. We actually, apart from the two days when I had food poisoning, I've been here every single day with just a skeleton team. And um, I know I'm really lucky because my routine has never really stopped. Anyway, what am I wearing today? Let me show you. I'm wearing Samantha Sun. And, and George wants me to do a dance because yesterday I was doing a Billy Elliot. We need Robert to play some music. Oh, oh, look. George is pretending he's actually working. Anyway, I better start. Oh my goodness. Can you hear that noise? There's a... There's a noise coming from outside. Sorry, it's, it's half past one in the morning. And I've just been woken up by this noise it's coming from either the back of the building or the front I'm just going to go and see what it is in the morning that 
has happened every morning this week. It's woken us up. They are steam cleaning Marylebone High Street. So I've never, ever seen a truck like that before. And the whole place smells of disinfectant. I mean, up on this roof, it just smells of dettol. And I guess it's for our good, but um, every morning this week, they've done it. So they, they must clean it, wait for a day, and then clean it again. It's extraordinary. And the smell, sanitizing a whole area. Come on, Tilde. Come on. We must go to bed, Tilde. Stop now, so maybe we can sleep. It's pouring with rain. I'm on my way to London. Uh, to London? I'm in London. I'm on my way to Camden. It's pouring with rain outside. It's very humid. Um, I, mean, I haven't been to Camden, well, for, for months, certainly not since lockdown and well before that. I don't actually, Camden's not my favourite place, but I'm going to collect something for Matilda. Please don't judge me when you find out what it is. I've talked about what it is on my radio station. I don't think she'll be very happy with what it is, but I just think it'll improve her life and my life unless she refuses to use it and then it's a complete and utter waste of money I love this trip though through Regent's Park I cut through Regent's Park and I love it what do you think? What do you think of it? Hey? Do you like it? There's only one problem. There are no wheels. I think you're going to like it, Tilde. Oh my goodness, so... Yes, I've got a, a, a stroller, a pram, whatever you want to call it. But... Oh! I got it from Argos in Camden. I have no attention span. I cannot put things together. It comes in a box. I should have known with no, I've got to put the wheels on. I have no idea how to put the wheels on. Matilda, you quite like it though, don't you? You're quite happy in your stroller. completely given up I don't have I just don't have the patience to do to do this sorry the lighting's all over the place I seriously don't have the patience to put wheels on a pram uh, because it's got brakes and all this sort of thing but she seems to really like it I think once we're up and running she's really at home in it do you like the pram I'm sorry it's not going anywhere Tilde yet anyway oh look at the weather <sighs> tilda that's cheered me up she seems to really like it oh, oh. so that was awful. I've just taken uh, the stroller back to Argos in Camden and they apparently, I gave, so let me just explain what happened. Uh, my lovely caretaker, Jim, said he would assemble it for me because I'm so useless. 
And then he said, a lot of the parts are missing, like the washers for the wheels. Oh gosh, and other bits. So I've just driven back to Camden, returned it to Argos, and they're gonna send another one out next week. And Jim, the caretaker, is gonna put it together. I am absolutely useless at stuff like that. And I swore I'd never get anything else from Argus. I once got a stool from Argus and the legs needed to be screwed in with pins or something. I didn't have them. I never screwed the legs in. No one could ever sit on the stool because I used to say, don't sit on that. The legs will fall off. So I'm not running down Argus. I'm just running down the fact I do not have the patience to assemble stuff. But anyway, when I looked at that last clip, Matilda looked very cute. All I could see was this, this bit of my hair. Anyway, that's gonna be done. The next vlog you see, all this would have been cut and colored. It won't be a pixie cut. It will go back to about here and all this will disappear. So, I've called this vlog, is this the sort of woman I've become? Pushing a dog in a pram up and down Marylebone High Street. Yes, it will be. I had planned on only doing it after night so no one could see me, but I don't care anymore. Yeah, I'll push her up and down. She seemed to really like it, so I'm hoping she will once it gets moving. Um, that's about it from me this week. Oh my goodness. Wonderful Linda sent me her walking by the Carnaby Street woman. You will have noticed we've not had met, we've not done any, any of you walking in Carnaby Street because obviously everyone was in lockdown. But Linda ventured back. And maybe we all will. I mean, by the time you watch this, Carnaby Street will be up and running again, hopefully. So this is Linda. She will be the last image you see. I will be back on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll be pushing Matilda in her pram. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Press the bell so you know every time I post. And I'll see you Wednesday. Bye. I'm walking.